So today we we're going to a town in California to pick up a four door 64, 1964 Chrysler New Yorker. Uh, should have a 413 engine in it, somewhat running. I guess we'll see. Um, so that's where we're headed now. Good. You know what? Let's it, fi it fires good. Yeah, let's, let me, just because I pissed me off with a hard left down. Alright. <laughs> you flooded now. Huh? Yeah, it might be flooded. Might have to sit for a second. It doesn't worry me, honestly. Okay, well, then. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty easy going. Well. <laughs> I mean, I'm like you. I like to hear it, but. Yeah. I can hear it turning over. I wasn't even expecting it to run, honestly. Craig, one more time, one more time. Yeah, it just needs to be opened up a little bit, and it it's it's sticking is all I can see it. As soon as I opened that up, that's when it fired. I'm amazed that it even runs because we didn't really do anything to the car, you know. It just right. 76. It's a pretty. It's not a. You know, I heard they're moving up to free smog. Or the no smog requirement to like 81 or something. Oh wow, that would be nice. It would be. Um, this one has a pretty decent motor in it. This one I've driven. Um, I've driven this one around. I pulled a hood, but I have a nice hood. What year is this one? 76. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and everything pretty much works. It's got rust in it, um, like most four-wheel drive Chevys. Yeah. It's a nice little truck. It's not too bad. Is that a, I don't know how to say it, but is that a e sprit on that gold car? Oh, yeah. Is that yes, how you say it's it? A, it's a Jim Rockford car. Have you ever watched Rockford Files? Uh, I have watched every episode. I bet you 50 times. Yeah, he's, I'm not even isn't he awesome. I love James Garner. He's so awesome. He's one of my I favorite um, characters. My wife one, loves that show, too. It's hilarious. I, I, this one Good. This one has a salvage title. Does it have the 305 or whatever, the small motor like an E-Sprit would have, no, you know? 350. 350, I, yeah. I don't know that it's the original motor. It's got a 350 in it. Yeah. This front bumper got damaged when my grandson was going to help me. What year is it. this one? What? Wait. This one is a 70... If we could see the bumper, we'd know, huh? Because of the lights. Yeah, yeah. 74 had the I, bigger it's one. Seven, it's pretty smog, I'm pretty sure. I can dig that information up shortly. Um, I'd like this one just because of the Rockford Yeah, thing. it's a Rockford car. <laughs> it's hilarious. I know. You watch Rockford too? All Rockford wants to do, Nick... Rockford's life is such chaos. It is. And all he wants to do is fish at the pier yeah. and stuff, but he keeps getting... He always makes me feel better about my life. Yeah, <laughs> you got it right. If this is from this car... No, that's the S10 okay. car. If it has this front square, then we know it's 74. Well, I do have it, but it got, a, it got damaged. Yeah. So, this one isn't really rusty. It does have a salvage title. Yeah. When we bought it 15 years ago, you know, a, a plain old Firebird was a $500 car. So, I always figured they, they, um, they uh, totaled it out because... The person didn't know what to do, and there was not that much damage to it. Because I put probably 10,000 miles on this one. Oh, you really? Yeah, and it, I haven't driven it recently. If, if you, but, yeah, if you didn't know Rockford, it probably wouldn't yeah. catch your eye, you know? <laughs> I know. He's never had the little bumper. The little I don't think he here. did. Of course, if you'll notice, he went through, he started out with the, with the back window. Now, this is the early style because mm -hmm. they were in a year or two after this one, the back window kind of went down like this like Camaros. Okay. 
So I guess I never noticed that. Yeah, yeah we'll check it out. And Rockford, the first year or so, he drives this style. Then he drives the other one that has more like a roll bar look. But the rest of the body was virtually the same. Um, you know, if somebody <laughs> want somebody wanted that one, I'd probably sell that for five grand. Yeah, that's probably about right too. Um, it's another one of those cars that I probably don't need, but it's yeah. so it's so sentimental. It's getting harder to find. I was a kid that would watch Rockford came on like 258 at one o'clock when I was his age. Yeah, and I would. You were there. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> sick from school so I could yeah. watch it. You know, I think. I would say 74. Yeah. But oh, I could be wrong. But this is a, this is not the one off of that. I found no, it when you could still find it. The, you remember a little bit 76 or 77 they had the two yeah. rectangular. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking it's got to if that well, fits it. I have pieces and I'm going to say it will fit. I think there are some minor details. That's a tiny Something Chevy else, pickup. Yeah. So it, it's been officially junked. Right. And uh, this is a big car. This is a big boat. I have my smaller trailer, uh -huh. but we hauled uh, a Wildcat on it, a Buick Wildcat. Oh, that's so close. that's pretty big. Yeah. So I'm not really too worried, but this is this is big. It is. trailer is because the angle is a little less steep I think. Yeah once I get it up here the only problem I have then is I found the length of the car I found. So if the trailer wants to tilt before the back tires. Before the back off, tires. <laughs> then your flight takes more. But it bumps it if we're going slow. Yeah. I That's agree. different. <laughs> well probably it it's probably uh, core anyway, right? Yeah. I just don't want to run it on at like eight miles an hour and then yeah. Well, it looks like it's a game of inches, but that's all that matters, isn't it? Remember, this is this has still got the left-handed threads on the... Yeah, on the studs? Yeah. Yeah. I... I forgot. I mean, I didn't screw anything up, but... Yeah, no, I was, you just can't I was get them off. pissed because they weren't coming off, you know, and I'm like... You need to go that way a little bit. You might have, you didn't hurt the finger, but you might have hurt the trim. Yeah, it's tight. Of course, like you said, now you've tilted. Hey, you think you could get it home with the back tires hanging over the edge? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have to borrow your jack and lift this. Yeah. And then pull it up about six inches and then it'll be on. Yeah. You're still, you're still touching here. Do you, is that? I mean, I just want you to know. Yeah, I've got the wheel cranked a little bit, so if yeah. I move it a little, it should pull off of that. All right. I think, I think that'll work. Yeah. Let's just get this side over. Okay, come here for a second. Lean over the back seat. Push that wheel to the left. Over. Hold it there. You're going to go for a ride. <laughs> oh, you never driven a car from the backseat, huh? Quarter turn to the right. You know what, Chase? It's easy to know what a quarter turn is because the steering wheel is square. <laughs> Have you noticed that? It's not a round steering wheel. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It is. I think the next thing they did that on was the Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny. Good. It took what 70 years or something. Yeah. 
You want to jump out this passenger window? I think it's where I want it, width wise. The Dukes of Hazard. You have to have watched The Dukes of Hazard, I and mean, you probably have the series like I do. Yeah. Not as much as Rockford and Monk, I'll be honest. No, with I, you. yeah. Monk, the funny story was, though, <laughs> I wanted to build this tribute car to my dad because he loved Mopar and right. passed away brain cancer, and so I'm like, I had to find something to do, you know? Right. And so I ended up, like, it's hard to get anybody to do anything. Right. Oh, yeah. Like shops and they're expensive. Finally, I found a guy that would do it near where I live, and his name was Ambrose. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Ambrose I thought, Monk. man, I've never met an Ambrose no, before. No. So then, this is back in December. It was just the Jack fell over. Yeah. December, January, I found him, and ever since then, I've been searching for a shop to help me build this motor out. Yeah. Because I needed a couple things done to it I don't have machines for. Right. So, long story short, after lots of shops, I get a hold of this guy and he says, yeah, bring your engine down, take a look at it. I said, okay, cool. I said, who do I ask for? And he said, my name's Adrian. Adrian and Ambrose. And I'm thinking, so the body guy's got, Ambrose has my dad's car and the engine guy, Adrian's got. <laughs> and my wife and I watch Monk like every night probably, just rerun after, re you know. And I just thought, it's got to be right, because yeah, we, lo we love that show. You can't, no, you can't turn that down. No, yeah, I that's no, no coincidence there. <laughs> So it's just kind of weird, you know. And my dad was only 67 when he passed, so oh, wow. not, you know, they weren't what? not that old. You said brain cancer? Yeah, yeah. He he endured it for about three years, uh -huh. and it just didn't, you know, couldn't shake it. It slowed him down, but he was still the kind of guy that like he'd go outside every day and do stuff and tractor and mow and yeah. take care of the yard. Everything he could do physically, he'd do it until yeah. 10 days. Before he passed, he got basically put in the hospital. And ten days later, that was it. But uh, that can go in the I'm sorry. It's refreshing to have somebody that's not trying to hammer me on price. They can make up their mind at the beginning instead of because I half the time guys come down and they'll bring their trailer and then they'll still try to go well I guess I'm just gonna have to go home without it if you don't you know I love to haggle and stuff but like fair is fair and yeah. I'll be honest with you I told you on the phone the first time though was you I think you're fair meaning I don't want to pay more I'm not offering you more yeah but and I'm not going to make you feel bad and say I would have paid more because I probably wouldn't have. But right. like, I, I feel like I got a good deal. So if you feel like you did, I'm, yeah, I'm we, really we stoked. We both win. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So my name is Vern. I sold this wonderful car to you guys, to Nick and you, Chase. Um, I've had it for probably six months. Um, it has a new master cylinder. We took, we jacked it up and looked in the, at the... Um, the shoes the brake shoes and the drums and stuff they all appeared to be pretty good shape um i like we found out the pedal's a little bit sticky the brake pedal but i think the brakes function they you know um uh the gas can tank is disconnected all right you so, guys have a safe thanks trip. again yep. i appreciate it appreciate it and if, and if you need any more signatures or anything yeah uh, let me holler at me. I'll give you a call. All right, we'll Thank see you all later. Yep. Thanks. Have a good one. Did you eat dinner? Uh, What'd you have? I had uh, like some chips and some chips. Almost home. Chase tired. He wants to go to bed. It's only 10.30. And I usually go to bed at 9. What's, the, ne late. what's the next car you're going to find? Whatever you want to get. Well, I can't even remember the name anymore. It's like Sport Satellite or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. He's delirious. Maybe in the morning.